And three dead, and game over. No way. Taggy just lost all the series over 3-0. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go scrim, gentlemen. First team, Gelber. What's up? <laughs> How'd you know I was coming? I saw you right there. We just had that last hill. Last hill. Oh, hey! It's awesome to say it's tournament time. You want that too? Let's get a little freaky on Texas, man. Don't be easy when you do it. Dude, let's get, fuck, let's get freaky with it, bro. I like that, Tyler. Don't be afraid to take a little bit of risk, but when we have numbers, that's when we dial it back down. Make sure you keep the calm, calm, nice and deep. Direct your little guys around the map. Do your fucking thing, Greg. Get him. Kill him. Come here, Seth. Come out now. Let's go for a push now. All right, yeah, so uh, obviously the playoffs loss was... Uh, we, we expected to win playoffs, man. Like, we were going into that super confident. We, we played really well at the regular season. Everything was supposed to be perfect. We got there, we dropped the ball. That happened, obviously the conversations were a lot of I'm sorry's, a lot of people who thought that they individually costed the team. And uh, as, as much as people think that, it's a team game. You know, there's four players on a team. You, you don't win championships alone, so. That those are the conversations. We had the boot camp, but that went really well. We played complexity a lot. We put in a lot of time for search and destroy and CTF. Obviously, our hard point has always been strong. Starting off champs, we started off super strong, man. Oh, Elevate had a good series. We lost to Search and Destroy. They were a really good Search team. You know, we we improved a lot in Search, whether we showed it or not. We did improve a lot when it comes to our communication and our strategy, and just the way we communicated um, in rounds. I would say, I think what messed us up in Search was our practice was really good because there was no pressure on us. When you get into Search and Destroy in actual matches, high pressure situations it's really hard to actually like recreate those in like a practice environment so uh that was that you know and um we started off strong bro like we started off 2-0 and uh the keepers ran out from the goal they're going for absolute glory here they absolutely need to two dead now for optic two for eg it's going forward apes finds one on the turn apes almost gets another there's the return flags going back now 30 seconds to get another cap and looks like Octane's alive. The flag's out. With 30 seconds, can they make this happen? They need to hold tight, and they being EG, but Optic Gaming, they need to push forward. This is the chance. They need to tie this up with 20 seconds left. They need a touch on the flag. Here it is. One wave of kills for evil geniuses. Eight finds one. Assault finds another. Just methods. He's going to be taken down. I think it's all over, Miles. Berlin Hadrian's great walls that have fallen throughout history and now you can add the green wall to that pile ladies and gentlemen Optic Gaming have been eliminated from COD Champs
that have fallen throughout history and now you can add the green wall to that pile ladies and gentlemen optic gaming have been eliminated from cod champs So going into the EG match, we knew that we couldn't get 3-0. That's the only thing that couldn't happen. If we won one map, we're first seed, they're out of the tournament, and we got 3-0, man. And it was just like... I feel like everything's in hindsight. Like, you can go back and say, we should have vetoed this map, we should have done this, we should have done that. And it's like, that's like the conversation every time, so I'm not even going to bring that up. It's just, they showed up and we didn't. You know, when you, when you win a world championship, there's a lot of pressure on you for you to come back and and be the first team to do back-to-back -back wins. And, and I thought we had that. You know, we were going back to boots on the ground. Seth was a monster. Crim6, Karma, you know, formal all literal gods on um, boots on the ground. Ghosts, they were, you know, they're, 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 the, they're the team. And, you know, uh, for me, this year is one of those years where you literally just have to put it behind you, okay? Because if you dwell on it, I'm not saying don't learn from it, but if you dwell on it, you're, you're you might get infected, infected with the, the the loserness of that year. So for me, I gave I, I, I gave myself and the team the benefit of you know what we've had an incredible incredible career. We've uh, we've been the most dominating team in a you know for for a very very long time. We have the dynasty team that was solidified by winning you know Call of Duty champs. We we did not only that but we helped the Call of Duty scene grow to where it is today. So it was bound to happen at some point or another for us to have a bad year. It happens to everyone. It still really hasn't set in, you know, like how bad we actually did compared to our expectations and everybody else's expectations. Um, I feel like we're one of the teams where like, we can beat anybody at any given time and we can also lose to people that I feel like we shouldn't really lose to, so. And like, it makes me feel so bad that we couldn't at least do it like better for you guys. Like top 24 is just abysmal, man. Like top three would have been like still sad, but like it's a lot better than top 24. So, uh. Things didn't go as planned, but the, the whole, like your fan base is still here with you guys. There is, we're always here no matter what, whether you guys win or lose. You're always going to have our support no matter what, and we know you'll kill it for Black Ops 4. And yeah, just keep up the good work and keep practicing. All right, we know that the result wasn't what you guys wanted, but as you can tell by everybody here, the green wall still stands strong. You guys keep strong. BO4 is going to be the game, man. The fact that there's this many people still here showing the love and support for the team, even though they haven't even been here since day two. Uh, this isn't just a community. This is a family, for sure. Don't worry guys, you guys have been great all throughout the con history. It's okay to take a year off. You're a great team, stick together, and I hope you I hope to see you do good next year. Scump, Methods, Octane, Krim. You guys just gotta keep your head up. You, you know, it is a game and it's something you guys look at winning all the time, but you gotta look at the people you have behind you. We have the whole green law. I mean, you guys weren't even, you know, granted weren't playing in this tournament, but we had a line filling up the whole venue on the outside, not even including what's going on on the tournament. You guys just gotta look back. You know, no matter what happens, no matter if you win or lose, we're always right here. We got your back. We're here for you guys. I just wanna say, uh, don't retire, scum. There's four years. Even though you've done it all, you got more in you. Don't let the early exit get you down. Just come back next year. You guys are Black Ops gods. You guys will get that that other rank. Scump and Krem, we know what you can do. Methods, Octane, you've earned your spot on the team. I want to see what you can do in BO4. All right, guys, you know, it sucks that you're out early, but you're still showing love to the fans. You got two of them out here. You know, a lot of love for Krem, a lot of love for Sam. Hope it goes well next year. You guys are awesome. I want to let you guys know you guys tried your best. Don't be bummed out about it. I'm pretty sure next year is going to be your year. Um, also, I want you to know Ix is in there playing, and Scump is here signing. And there are more people out here than in there. And that is enough to tell you how much support you have. And I wish you the best of luck for next year. And I'll be here next year to see you guys take that championship and kiss that trophy. Love you guys. You know, I, 
I personally can't thank you guys enough for the support you guys have shown me. It's been a, uh, it's been incredible. Like just seeing, I was I was expecting my Twitter feed to be horrible after we lost, man, and it wasn't. It was all just like you played great, keep your head up, and uh, I can't thank you guys enough, man, because this is a. Uh, this is as hard as it is. I'm literally like choking up doing this interview. It sucks, but um, you know, you guys help us get through it, and uh, it does not go unnoticed. I'm gonna just do everything I can to keep my mind off this. Um, obviously, at some point, roster conversations are gonna start going down, and um, I just want to be as stress-free as possible when those start coming around. So, you know, I'm I'm hopeful for the future. I know that, you know, I, I knew that Scumpy was wasn't gonna retire. Uh, I knew that for a fact. You know, um, I, I I wouldn't let him. Uh, he can retire when, when when he wins another championship or another ring. Okay, that's when he can retire. Until then, you think I, you think I was gonna allow him to retire as a loser? Fuck that. Part of my French, but I, you know, forget that. No way. There was no way that I was ever gonna do that. So, Black Ops Four though. <laughs>